Hi folks, my name is Zach Padilla. I'm the product specialist in sommelier here at the liquor store and wine loft of Jackson Hole. Today we're tasting the Acrobat Pinot Gris, the Lang Winery Pinot Gris, both from Willamette Valley, both 2009 I believe even, yes. So we're going to jump right in here, but you can also check these out on the web at winelickerbeer.com. These guys seem to be a little bit tight today. But I'm definitely getting uh, some tart apples, some uh, tart fresh pear here. Getting a little bit of a lime, lemon lime kind of characteristic, more lemon than anything else. I'm getting uh, a little bit of a floral characteristic, a little like white orchid kind of thing. The palate definitely shows that tart apple, tart pear kind of characteristics. Again, still more that lemon kind of characteristic, but there's some lime there too, a little lime zest. Um, this one's really fresh and clean. It's uh, filling the palate, juicy, jammy acidity, and then it's kind of gone, but that acidity kind of lingers, so I'm still kind of swallowing, but what's uh, kind of left over is a little bit of that minerality, and that minerality on the palate is a great food pairing uh, kind of quality. If this would be great with some goat cheese, or if you're going to do some light dishes, definitely a great wine for fish dish. If you're going to do a light white fish or like a lemon dill sauce or something, fantastic. Perfect to go with that. We'll move on. The Lang Winery Pinot Gris. Again, a little tight, but. Getting a little bit of that lemon lime character characteristic. I'm kind of seeing a little bit of more of the lime zest kind of thing. Um, Definitely seeing that uh, tart apple, more of like a ripe pear kind of quality. And still that white orchid kind of thing is, you know, very predominant. This has got a little bit rounder palate. Like the last one had, some, it was very crisp, clean right off the palate, you know. <clears throat> this one really fills your palate. It's all over the place long, long fruity finish too. You're getting that uh, big apple, uh, you're getting a little bit more of that overripe or like really soft pear kind of qualities. You're getting that lemon lime, more of the lime kind of characteristic, that white orchid, definitely a little bit of minerality, but it lingers for quite a while. There's a lot of that fruity flavor that's still all over the palate. I'd say this one would be a little bit better by itself. Um, this one definitely needs some food, um, but both of them I think are great. Um, I think uh, this one would be gr a great one to start with, and this would be a great one to uh, finish with. So, um, God knows uh, two bottles a day isn't too bad. Uh, so, uh, if uh, you guys want to check these out on the web at winelickerbeer.com, make sure to do that. Also, see us every week from 4 to 7 p.m. for our weekly wine tastings. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Cheers.